All right. In three, two, one. What is good, everybody? And happy New Year to you guys. I am back for the new year with a very special person, a very special guest. And I wanted to make sure he was my first person this year just <laughs> to start off the year right. I got somebody in the Monk community who's, you know, known for their uh, professional critiques in the rap game for Monk people and just entertaining videos overall. I got DC Reacts over here with me. What's good, brother? Man, much love, much love. Thanks for the introduction, but professional, no, no not even close. <laughs> <laughs> just, just opinions, you know, but uh, appreciate the love, man. Appreciate the love, appreciate the introduction. Really appreciate you having me on, man. What's good? Yo, Zhong, yo, Zhong. Yeah, man. I wanted to bring you on and just talk to, like, about your evolution of your channel, man. Like, it's only been, what, about almost a year, a little bit more than a year for your channel, right? Yeah, it's been uh it's been about a year and some change, probably a year and a half, maybe, probably a little longer than that now. So did you did you really like just wanted to start out making reaction videos to like rap? Yeah, yeah. I um I initially wanted to just I, I wanted to do reactions in the mainstream with mainstream music, but yeah, um, the more the more I looked into it, the more I was like, you know, there's really nobody that was doing it at the time for Mon for the Mon community. So I was right. like, you know, maybe let me pioneer this and start this start it off. You know what I mean? So that's kind of why I jumped into the Mon community. Yeah, man. I think, I mean, honestly, there's a lot of like, you know, ideas that flow around with the the younger community, the younger Mon community about media nowadays. You know what I mean? And honestly, I had the idea of reacting to a lot of things too. I was like. Nah, but I don't, I don't think I'm ever, like, entertaining enough to do it. But, you know, I'm glad that you got to do it, and I'm glad that you started it because, man, dude, your videos are entertaining. <laughs> hey, appreciate the love, man. Appreciate the love. Like, I really do enjoy just uh, acting a fool like that because that's how we be, like, when we be, I be hanging out with my friends, you know what I mean? Right. So, cousins, and it's fun. It's fun to me. It's like a hobby. Right. Is it? Is it kind of like, um, like, are you ever nervous, like, especially in the beginning of your videos, like were, were you ever no, like nervous recording yourself and stuff like that? Man, nervous every time, bro. But um, just, uh, hey man, you got the Modelo, let's cheers, bro. Today I'm not drinking any Modelos, but let's cheers one real quick. Cheers, man. You got the Modelo out too? Mm -hmm. Modelo time. Sipping on wine, man. I've been trying to cut down on some beer for this year, you know? Got to get a little bit more healthier than that. Right. I've been drinking too much beer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's like one every every video, man. <laughs> yeah, right. So, um, what, what was we talking about right here? Oh, like like uh, were you ever nervous like putting, oh, yeah. uh, being in front of a camera and stuff like that? Yeah, bro. Uh, again, to answer that question, I'm always nervous, man. Always nervous. Um, I just, I just sometimes just roll the camera and just be like, fuck it, just just do what you gotta do, you know, and uh. You know that you guys get, you guys see, you guys see the other end of it every time <laughs> yeah. I release it. So, um, yeah, most of the time I buzz, I get a little buzz to get loose. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like right. drinking a little bit of beer. But um, I am always nervous, especially when I first started. I was always like, man, people are gonna judge me. People are gonna hate on me. People are not gonna like me. But then I start realizing over time that I'm not everybody's cup of tea. You know, and it's okay, and I'm okay with that. You know, the right. people that are gonna like really mess with me and really support me that's my cup of tea too you know what i'm saying like i really fuck with that so that's what mattered moving forward and uh, i started losing the nervousness i wasn't really that nervous anymore going forward but yeah i still get nervous time to time bro <laughs> yeah man i was right now talking to you <laughs> dude me too i was like i was telling my girl i was like oh damn dude i'm like i'm hella nervous <laughs> i was like i was i had to slam a beer before we had to do this too for one of my buddies i was like i need to get these nerves out <laughs> Hey, man. Hey, it's all good, though, because I just, you know, we all start somewhere and, um, you know, supporting each other is what matters most. And just sitting here with you is like we're supporting each other. You know what I mean? So right. that's love. That's love. Yeah. And I really appreciate you again, like just uh, being on here. Like, dude, you're like 6K followers right now. And I'm like, I just hit 100. So I'm really proud of that. You know what I mean? But I was like, thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. But I'm just like. You know, I was like, man, it's so cool to see, like, you know, somebody like you who, like, supports small channels like us. You know what I mean? Oh, definitely, bro. Like, uh, I'm, I'm a small channel myself. You know, my goal, my my main goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers. And I've been working very hard towards it. And mm -hmm. uh, 
10,000 is like my milestone, my main goal where I could say, hey, I achieved my goal in the YouTube community, you know, and right. uh, that's like my main goal. And when I see new YouTubers uh, or, uh, you know, content creators coming up, like I want to be there with, for them too, you know what I'm saying? Because I know how it was starting out. And um, even though, like I said, again, uh, it's I, I am still starting on myself. So I know how it is, you know, uh, you mm. know, a lot of a lot of support with each other goes a long way. And I understand that. Yeah, man, so, for sure. I and wish the also like, journey. yeah, and also like, you know, like seeing your videos like progress, like your quality and your even your setup was like progressing as well. Even I see now that your thumbnails are getting a lot better as well too. Like, <laughs> is that all like just you, you practice over time or what is it? I think over time, like um, before I answer that question, I just wanted to make the statement real quick because Kiswami once told me. Um, he asked me about how my journey was going, you know what I'm saying? You know, Kiswami, the rapper. Yeah. And then I told him, you know, every day I'm just trying to upgrade and get make myself better, you know? And he told me, he goes, look, you know, from day one, it was never about your your uh, quality. It was you that, that you know, we like to watch. So wh however the quality is, we're going to watch you no matter what. So that really hit that really hit me on the heart. And I was really appreci appreciative that he said that to me. But, uh, like, just as time goes, you want to better yourself because you don't want to just – you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want right. to be at level one. You know what I mean? You want to keep growing yeah. as you, you grow, too. So that's where I'm at right now. I, I've been trying to, to learn how to grow with the channel. Right. So. You you want to have the the right, like, the right weapons to defeat level eight monsters. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's, that's a good way to put it right there. That's a good way to put it right there. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to have, like, level one weapons to do, going against, like, level eight people. You know what I mean? Yeah, like when I got stuck on like uh, two, three thousand subscribers, my my wife used to tell me, "Hey, maybe you should start upgrading your your visuals, your mic." You know what I mean? So that's when I started. Okay, let me look into that. And then the more I did, the more compliments I saw. Hey, I, the mic really sounds really good. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, that's it, it, I know it's helping to defeat the level. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. And like, were you always into rap too? Yeah, man. Um, growing up, bro, like before Mon Rap, though, before Mon Rap, when I was younger, it was all like mainstream music. Me, my brothers, you know, what I'm saying? Mm. my cousins, we all was listening to rap. And uh, I was always that kid that was like, did you hear what he said? Man, he said this and this, but it really meant this. Did you guys catch that? And everybody just kind of like rolled their eyes like, oh, man, <laughs> gonna be seen again. you know what I'm saying? Like I was that annoying dude. Yeah. And then over time. Over time, man, I was just like, you know, I'm just going to stop bugging people, you know. But then now, I, like I said, I do it on camera and, and I have a, I, I grew family on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, that yeah. listen to when I talk about it. So it's pretty cool, man. Well, I mean, yeah, I, think, I, I think that's good, though. Like, you know, you just breaking down each verse, like verse by verse, I think is really important because, you know, like myself, I listen to a lot of hip hop, uh, Mong and like, you know, Mika and everybody. But then like... um just some people that's like trying to get into hip hop or like that is in hip hop and they don't understand the metaphors and they don't understand, you know, what, what it actually means. I like how you actually break it down, especially the Hmong ones. I know the Hmong ones are hard for the youngings because it's yeah. like some of them don't even really understand Hmong that well. <laughs> so it's like, I like how you break it down and like actually like explain the metaphor, explain that verse to, to everybody. And it's like, man, I thought it meant this, but it, it does mean that too. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. I I try my hardest to do it um that way as much as possible, but sometimes I get care, I get like into the zone. I, I forget, you know, I forget and I just start like really just naturally reacting to it without it even explaining too much. But right. I try to do as much as I can. Yeah, man. And um I know I know uh you've been on spoiler force uh like two times, right? uh yes speaking of spoiler force shout out to ricky man ricky vane shout out to ricky vane spoiler force podcast this, you know this dude man he has so much motivation so much drive that it yeah dude you, you know what i'm saying motivates me and a shout out to him yeah, yeah I, I, I he's podcast. the one that motivated me to like just keep keep doing this thing and he's the one that put me like just ask tc like he'll do it with you i was like i was like are you sure like i don't know <laughs> like <laughs> Oh, he's like man. yeah just ask like he's he's real chill i was like i was like all right oh yeah dude any, all day any day anytime you ever need you know what i'm saying you want to conversate with me whatever just hit me up like everybody knows 
the whole my host is, you know, the whole audience knows that I always try to respond back as much as I can, no matter what. I never leave people hanging. Even if I don't get to it now, I'll eventually get to it. Yeah. And um, that's just how I, I roll, you know. It's like we have to help each other, man. We have to help each other. So it's all good, man. Thanks for having me on, by the way, again, bro. Dude, thanks for coming, man. I didn't, you know, like Ricky was just saying, like, just do it. Like, just just ask him. He'll do it. I was like, yeah, <laughs> man. I don't know. <laughs> you know, because, like, you know, I am, like, new and I'm just, like, being – it's hard for me to say consistent, you know what I mean? But I, I've been being consistent and, um, you know, it, he's been really helping me on the way of my, my journey of like podcasting too. So, you know, yeah, like you said, really big shout outs to Ricky. I mean, definitely, man. Ricky has helped me, you know what I'm saying? He recommended the mic to me, you know, he helped mm. me set it up as well. He's really like, if he wants something done, he's going to figure it out. He's and, the guy. Uh, He's the guy, you know, yeah. and he does not, he's not shy about, or he's not like shady about helping you. You know what I'm saying? Like right. he really would help you out. So big shout out to Ricky, man. Yeah, man. But yeah, moving forward, man. Um, I know that you do want to like do other moan, like uh, not just moan music, but like other like Asian or like even Mika artists, right? Yeah. But right now. I, I I don't know. Maybe is maybe it's the beer that's talking, but I want to ask you. <laughs> yeah, hey, ask me whatever you feel like. Bro. Yeah, but I want to ask you, what what video have you reacted to that was kind of like, kind of overhyped? Overhyped as as like you thought it was gonna be really good, but it kind of like it kind of like let you down a little. Oh uh, man, I I, I, made so I mean many... not to put anybody under. No, no, yeah, you know? I, I totally get what you're saying. I made so many videos that man. Uh, you know, sometimes some of them. Okay, look, let me put it this way. Sometimes when people request songs, right, and um, I listen to it, and then uh, the beginning of it, I always listen to the beginning of it and just get the feel of it. Oh. And then right away, right away, if I feel like the quality is really, really, really bad, then I don't. I kind of don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like to shoot people down. You feel me? So. Right. Um, I'm always trying to come off like the best way possible. Uh, so even if the song's not that good, I'm going to say it in the nicest way possible to, uh, you know, help them, uh, help them get better too, without them feeling like I'm bashing on them. You know what I'm saying? So that's just, how, that's just my approach. Right. And that's what I was saying. A professional, uh, critiquer. <laughs> <laughs> professional, far from professional. Bro. <laughs> It's just like it's just funny, uh, funny, funny opinions, man. That's that's just how I, I put it, bro. Yeah, man. And what what's your uh, what's your opinion on like the moan, moan music game right now, man? Like even even in this past twenty twenty, because everybody was in a you know or still is in a pandemic, like yeah. we we saw a lot of people pop, we saw a lot of people drop music, even mm -hmm. at the beginning of twenty twenty. What's your like? What's your biggest takeaway from the moan music industry? as a whole in 2020 you said yeah um i see a lot of uh progression uh i see a lot of uh people think people moving out of the box you know what i mean because it's, it's, it's getting to a point where people are trying different things now and and i like that i like that i, right. I see it and some songs i listen to and i can hear what they're trying to go at where, where what what direction is trying to go mm -hmm. and um like it, it really excites me it, like just, just to see that evolution in, in, in the home community. Um, man, I think that in general, I, okay. Okay. Let me put it this way. I think with Ricky, I think I was talking with this, with this, with Ricky, actually, Ricky asked me, what am I, what do I expect to see out of the home community? Right. And I said, evolution, right. I want to see that home um, music um, like change and, right. and, and catch up. You know what I'm saying? Like it mm -hmm. is a little behind majority of it is behind because yeah. We are more in the um, similar style topic, and you know what I'm saying it's always the same thing. So, like right. when, when Ricky asked me that, I said I want to see the home community evolve and change, and and um, really just just make good music. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about proving yourself and this mm -hmm. and that. And, and and I see that I seen a lot of it this year alone, 2020, 2020. 2020 I seen a lot of it. So that were that's what uh, I guess. I'm trying to answer your question here that is something that made me proud of the home community what i saw yeah man and i saw that too and it, and it really made me surprised like or not surprised but then like just like kind of being like see i knew it 
you know what I mean? Like, I knew we had these type of talents, you know what I mean? Because, like, I, I, yeah, like, I always knew, like, most people, dude, like, most people have this type of talent, you know what I mean? We just can't, you know, just, we just can't tell them, like, no, don't pursue it, you know what I mean? And that's what, like, I really want this podcast to focus on is, like, no, like, pursue that thing, you know what I mean? Pursue what you want to pursue. Because without it, we wouldn't even know, like, what level we could reach, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, you, I, go wait, ahead. Wait. And you mentioned that in general. You said before when you when you first reached out to me, you said that's what you want to do in your podcast was to talk about like you know people pursuing what they want to do, right? Something like that. Mm-hmm. And you know it goes to music, just exactly what we're talking about. So this is perfect. This is perfect for the for your channel for your platform. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, it's pretty cool. But yeah, man. I mean, I think I think 2020 for me was like it was just scratching the surface of what most people could do. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like clear universe and, you know, kid Swami and yes. uh, surprise and sons of no town, like even chinchilla, like with, um, I don't know. I, I haven't listened to some of his stuff, but I listened to one of his songs. It was kind of like a mumble rap type of style. Yeah. So it was kind of like scratching the surface of all these different types of styles and just proving that like we don't always have to you know just rap about one thing or just having the same type of styles for every type of rapper or singer you know what i mean right i think 2021 is going to be really interesting yeah i'm really looking forward to that as well myself man yeah man so like talking into music like were you always into music like you said like you know back in the day you were always the one that's like breaking down the lyrics for your cousins and friends <laughs> yeah did you, ever, man, I, did you ever think about going to music yourself yeah actually i me and my cousins we we tried rapping you know you know everybody goes through that stage right where, where like you love you love music and you want to make it you know mm-hmm. so we did go we did go through that phase and then um it just kind of fell apart you know I, I started having kids i got married started having kids and um i was just wasn't single anymore you know so mm. um <clears throat> that's when I started letting it go. Like I didn't never even perfected it yet. And then, and uh, I just started letting it go, but I still love it. I still love music. And, but yeah, I was, I've always been into music, bro. I love music. That's cool, man. Um, How many kids do you have? I have four kids. Four, four kids. kids. Yeah. Four kids. Damn. <laughs> you look young as hell. <laughs> nah, bro. I just turned 36. <laughs> You're 36. Damn. Yeah, 36. Dude, 36. I thought you were like, at least like late twenties or something. <laughs> Man, I just turned thirty six. You know, I started shaving my head bald like in my twenties, my late twenties. I, I mean, yeah, like mid my mid twenties. I started shaving my head because I started going bald because it's in my jeans. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. um, now I'm just I just shave my head bald and I just wear hats and beanies all the time. So oh yeah, yeah, man. Um, yeah, but talking about music again, like who who would you say? Um, going back to 2020 who would you say is like the one that kind of like impressed you the most like music wise man um because you did you you did produce a lot of content coming from 2020 yeah 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 definitely Mm -hmm. um i would say still as an artist overall like not just seeing not just rapping but kind of like both and everything yeah um, I really like what Kiswami was doing. You know, he 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 know he knows his lane. He and, uh, and 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 his music. You just know that he's he's trying to break through. You know, and you feel it. And you you hear it in his in his sound. And right. Um, I, I'm not taking anything away from anybody that's up there too as well. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like as far as overall and artistry and like just what they do, I think Kiswami is kind of like the has everything that an artist you know would need to move forward you know so right um i don't know i, I hope i'm hope i'm putting this in a way where we, where you can understand how no i understand it because funny thing is like i think about i think about it the same way you know what i mean like i've been thinking because i'm really into music too especially like i haven't been into the moan music industry in a while but like recently this past year i have and yeah like like you said, like no knock on uh, any of the other music artists, but then like, I feel like 
yeah, Kid Swami like knows his like you said knows his lane and knows what he wants and he he does it. You know what I mean? Although like of course it takes time for him to come up with music and stuff, but then like whenever he does, like people get excited for it. Like people people are like you know ready to click for it. You know what I mean? They, they wait for it. You know so yeah. Um, before that, man, before Kid Swami, like I really I was I was really on KT. You know like I want KT like. Okay, this dude sounds different, this dude. But then you know, as time went on, he kind of wasn't really dropping. A, well, he was dropping some hits. Like, don't get me wrong. Right. Yeah. He was dropping fucking hits. But then, like, out, over a while, it just got kind of quiet. And then, uh, man, I don't know, man. Just towards the end of the year, I just started feeling like Kiswami overall was, uh, again, to answer your question, was the overall artist that was singing rapping you know what i'm saying rapping fast switching up his flows right um quality uh man so yeah i had i have to hand it to kid swami as an overall artist going yeah yeah and he's like, young too he's very really young <laughs> he's I, I think he might be younger than i am really how old are you i'm 23 23 so okay yeah. you guys might be around the same age around probably. the same age maybe one or two years difference yeah but yeah i think it's interesting like whenever you hear somebody like like different right i feel like yeah it sounds different but then like sometimes it just sounds like sometimes you can tell you know like oh man like this one's gonna be different you mm-hmm. know what i mean or this one just sounds different or this one this person's gonna be different you know yeah. what i mean and i feel like like i said this year i think a lot more artists is gonna come out this year just making their own style like you know known yeah it's definitely definitely man and um there's a lot of artists out there as well that has a really good industry sound like these new artists that popped up on my uh <clears throat> my rap contest you know what i'm saying like chillax and them steven lee and them they really sound really good they got that industry sound you know what i'm mm. saying so I expect them to really uh make more noise in 2021 as well like guys like that yep <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, going into your uh going into the rap contest and stuff. What what made you start the rap contest and stuff like that? Cuz the recent one was your second one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what made you I don't um, know what your first one was, but the first one the first one was uh is a mix of Hmong and rap. I mean, Hmong and in English. So, oh. It was hell abroad and it was a lot of entries. I'm talking about like it was open entries, so um, it was over a hundred entries, 106, I think to be exact. Jeez. Yeah. So I was like, man, I need to tighten things up from my next one to really find something, you know what I'm saying? So um, my second one was, it was about 15, maybe 15 or 16, 16 only, but it was very, very good ones though. Like everybody really came through and did the thing. And I, I was really uh, impressed by everybody. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. But uh, <laughs> man, see, so I'm just all tired. So I'm trying to remember so um yeah to answer your question um uh, why why did i do that man just to bring the Hmong community together you know what i'm saying like uh i don't remember anything like popped off like that since i entered the our community to do this to do what i do i haven't really seen any, anything like that I probably yeah i've heard of it but I, I didn't see it myself so i was like since i'm in this space i want to do something while i'm in the space so that's why i put it together just to bring the Hmong community together yeah man i when i saw that i was like damn that's such a good idea you know what i mean yeah like you said just building a community you know what i mean even if like yeah like of course there's gonna going to be a winner and of course there's going to be a prize but at the end of the day the goal was just to bring everybody together and bring their style together you know what i mean exactly showcase let everybody get a chance to showcase what they got basically right exactly was it was it hard like going through every every song or every everybody's song to to find the winner? Very hard, man. Very hard. Very it was uh, fun. Like the process, the journey, everything was fun. It was there. I enjoyed the whole thing. The hardest part was finding who won, you know. And uh, like we really had to break, 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 break everything down over and over and over again. But um, <clears throat> yeah, that, yeah, that's the hardest part, bro. It, it was hard. To- to decide the winner because everybody you know you just hear it, like everybody did a thing right what made you pick the winner like um 
I guess I didn't listen to the the last one, but like, what made you? What was the difference between second place and the first place? The first, the the most recent contest. Yeah. Um, we went down to me, me and uh, Flowgasm broke. Went down to we 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 chose the winner because his sound, his song was just, it was just a song. You know what I'm saying? Like it mm. wasn't. It wasn't him trying to prove himself. It wasn't him trying to say he's going to be the best or, you know, not that that's anything wrong with that. I'm just right. saying for every majority of the entries, they they kind of wrapped about the same topic, you know, like, uh, oh, okay. like uh, you know, I'm going to prove everybody wrong or um, they're sleeping on me and, you yeah. know, I'm here to win. Like, but then this dude came in and he just dropped a song like uh, he just got in there and just started rapping about like, you know girls and hanging <laughs> out and you know what i'm saying like it's like okay yeah. this is a song like it's a song you know so that's what really what it really came down to that's why that's why we leaned, leaned uh his way for the for the win gotcha and like picking through the songs like when you critique songs or when you like i guess like you know listen to a song and uh have opinions about it like what makes a good song in your opinion oh uh, man everything bro like if if, if you're talking about like a good, good, a song that I could say, man, I enjoy this. Yeah. First of all, it has to have quality, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I get it. Some people don't have the, the you know, the, the, the tools and the access to quality and the money to, to make it quality. And they can still sound tight. Like if they have talent and with low budget, you can still hear something out of that. Like, oh shit, this dude has potential, you know? So, right. but uh, in overall though, go back going back to what you're asking man like for me like i listen for quality rather back like okay did, did, did this person put his time and effort to on this song and before he dropped it it was like okay this is the right this is how i want it how i want everybody to hear it so that that goes with quality right there and mm. that, that's what i want to hear right o- right away yeah so once i hear don't hear quality i'm like okay first of all this person it was not that serious that's how i feel like when i listen to uh, music that's low budget right the back Mm-hmm. Or no, no quality so quality and then of course rhythm like they got to be on the they got to go with the beat like you know what I'm saying make it like a song you know don't don't right. just sound like you're reading off the paper uh mm-hmm. you know lyrics lyrics so definitely lyrics got to be different got to be um not just simple like uh i'm walking down the street you know what i'm saying like <laughs> hey something that's gonna make me think like you know it's just in general like for anybody right yeah, yeah. You, if you're listening to a song you want to hear something that's gonna make you like oh the metaphor oh yeah that's what he meant like oh shit that's just dope you know so that right there it, it plays a big part in anybody's song and uh you just don't want to sound simple you know it's like right. yeah, it's easy to be simple because we we heard it already right, right. yeah we, we've heard be, the simple verses you yeah. know what i mean be unique, be unique, be you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Be you, do your thing. Don't try to be like him because he's popping. Do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, be you, show us who you are. And that's what drives, like, your image, you know what I'm saying? Like, your yeah. your character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. Moving away from music, like. Man, could... that, that question got me all hyped up, bro. <laughs> go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, do your thing. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, moving away from music, but focusing on your like your channel, like on your Facebook channel, you've been doing uh, uh well, DC reacts to foods. You think that's gonna be like a a permanent thing? <laughs> um, just testing the waters a little bit. You know, what I'm saying it's nothing serious yet. Like you right. can tell, it's not. It's never serious. You know, it's, it's mm-hmm. not like I really sit there and with like food and really dive into it in front of the camera. It's just kind of yeah. like, just kind of like comedy a little bit. A good time. Uh, yeah, just having a good time, just eating, and then it's just like when I'm about to eat, I'm like, man, you know what? Let me just record this real quick. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it just, it just, I just been dabbling. Um, now that you asked that though, like I, I, I was gonna do a video where I was gonna um, bring that up. Like, what do you guys want to see out of DC Rats going forward? You know what I'm saying? What else do you want to see? So I'm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be asking that pretty soon on the channel as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, to answer that question, like. Yeah, I do want to see like DC reacts foods and then like like DC reacts like movies or something like that or DC reacts pretty much anything. You know what I mean? too. <laughs> <laughs> because like dude, like DC like DC reacts itself like that's such a like a big brand already. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's such a well-known brand. Like I'm thinking like damn, like dude, you could have like so much things coming off of that. 
You know what I mean? And I never even th thought of it like that. You know what I'm saying? This is why I mean it's good to sit down with each other and learn from each other. Like I'm learning from you as you say these things. You know what I mean? Right, right. Words in my head now. See? Yeah, because so. like I was like, once you dropped like the DC reacts to foods and stuff like that, I was like, damn, like, dude, he could do so much things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but for sure, yeah, of course you're gonna have to, you know, dabble and you know, play play your cards right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, don't fall into like so many things at the same time where it's like your, right. your audience gets confused you know what i mean right. scattered and shit yeah that's that's like the hard part because it's like i did that and it's like oh <laughs> it's like <laughs> i had it you know what you you you're into shoes right yeah i am uh, yeah because i i went on your instagram i think and i, I seen that you was you was uh you, you had you always talk, you was talking about shoes and stuff or your youtube channel i think yeah, so it used my YouTube, YouTube channel used to be about like uh sh shoes and streetwear and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just kind of I, I got broke, so <laughs> <laughs> shoes, yeah. shoes are breaking, man. Shoes Dude, are breaking. It's, it's expensive, temper. man. Yeah, man. It's an yeah. expensive hobby. Trust yeah. me, I, I had to let go of that hobby <laughs> myself. Yeah, I had to let go of it too. You know, I'm like, of course, I like I sold most of them, but then like, you know, I, I kept the ones that I like like you know close to me. But of yeah. course, I had to sell the other ones to because you know bills come in and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely. definitely. I mean, you know, things are twenty twenty one. Things are different now, right? You know, last year everybody's saying like, "Oh man, it's such a bad year." What did you think about twenty twenty? Like overall, uh, was it a bad year for you? Um. Yeah, man. Well, some parts of it, you know, uh, we we lost we lost some family members. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Um, one of my cousins, maybe a couple of my cousins, two of my cousins, um, my uncle, you know. Um, so it was, it was, we went through some hard times. We lost Kobe, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kobe. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it, some parts of it was, 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 was tough, bro. But then um, at the same time, the year flew by too. Like it went by fast. It did. And uh, even though we went through hardship, um, it went by fast. And, uh, yeah, that's how I felt about it, man. It was tough, but it went by. <laughs> yeah, man, for sure. And I think like 2020, you you brought out a lot of content too. And I can say that about Ricky too. And I, I, I say that about me too. And, you know, a lot of um, content creators, like we, we did bring out a lot of content too. <clears throat> Moving on to 2021, what, did, what are like some goals of yours for like your brand? um for my brand uh uh expanding like we was talking about earlier you know mm -hmm. a little bit more comedy like i love comedy man yeah. <laughs> uh, i love I, I love making people smile you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. i love people smile make, make people uh, have a good day you know what i'm saying so comedy food um man uh, that's that's basically it, man. From growing, man. More, oh, more vlogging, bro. More vlogging. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and uh, you know me, man. I grind a lot. I grind a lot. Like I don't talk about a lot of stuff on the channel because yeah. sometimes I shouldn't be. So yeah. I don't talk about my, you know, my grinding stuff. Like you know the the way I I move and shit. But um, definitely always doing something. Uh, I just started dabbling into buying stocks and shit. So I might talk about my adventure with that, you know? Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so I'm into that. that would into, be interesting too. Yeah. So I just started like, oh, on my birthday, like December 22nd, I was like, you know what? I need something new. I need something exciting. Let's do it. Jumped into stocks, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've, I've been doing that too. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I always got to do something. And uh, right. 2020 just, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot coming, but I'm going to dissect it. As much as I can for the brand, and you know, ten thousand subscribers is my goal this year, y'all. My goal, ten thousand subscribers. Yeah, guys, make sure, make sure you guys are a <laughs> part of the goal. Okay, make sure you guys go uh, and support, man. Because don't be, don't be, don't be the one saying that you were there from the beginning. All right, <laughs> don't be the one saying that you were there when you know you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good though, you know. Um, late, it's always better than not being there. So right. Um, I always got love for everybody that comes through and shows me love every time. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I started saying DC Rare is gang. You know what I'm saying? I started saying like, it's like my family, you know, right, my, right. My family and this shit. So, yeah, man. And talking about your catchphrases, you know, you, you have a few catchphrases. <laughs> <laughs> when did you, when did you start like picking up on these catchphrases? Cause you know, every time 
people hear these catchphrases like they know that like we're talking about you you know what i mean or they know like you're gonna be in the conversation uh it just happens bro it just happens and i catch myself saying it over and over and then i just like you know what uh i'm just gonna put more i'm just gonna emphasize it more when i do say it, and like like right. you know, the other time if people start saying it in the comments and i was like oh shit so i was like people are really saying it too so i just started saying it more and more or like let's bump this shit like I just said that I just I was just talking regularly, but then people kept saying like let's bump this shit in the comments. So I was like, fuck, and I just started saying that too. It just kind of catches on like little phrases like that. Right. Yeah. Man, I was like, damn, dude, that shit is so cool. Like, I wish I had a catchphrase. <laughs> hey, just <laughs> just be your like I said, bro, just don't be shy. Just do what you gotta do. Like, if you wanna if you wanna take a shortcut to finding finding your identity and what you do, just 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 dive right in, man. Don't just don't, just don't be around the bush at what you do. You know what I'm saying? Just boom, get to the point and uh, really just show who you are. You know, like don't be shy about it because that's I think that's what held me back for a really long time. Right. When I learned how to over when I over, overcame that, I, I started realizing that I'm more relaxed now. You know, like even though I, I act a fool on camera, but I'm relaxed. I'm not nervous as much. You know, I'm like I'm being myself. And right fun you know so just enjoy yourself enjoy the journey you know what i mean like just enjoy yeah. the journey. enjoy the journey no i feel that man i was like because i used like we were talking about i used to make videos way back um about shoes and fashion and stuff like that and then i found my voice right but then like all of a sudden i stopped and then started doing podcasting and then now i feel like i'm refinding that voice you know what i mean and I'm refinding um my my personality with with a camera and with like a guest and stuff like that especially like with with the mic you know what i mean so right. i think it's 2021 for sure my goal is like finding my myself again through podcasting you know what i mean because it's it's hard dude like because i thought i was entertaining right i thought like with my um, fashion videos and sneaker videos i, th I thought i was pretty entertaining because that's like i get edit stuff and make stuff kind of funny and stuff like that yeah. but then like now it's like Dude, like now it's like just uncut raw footage and <laughs> record and go, you know what I mean? And like, damn, now it's like I can't make I mean I could, but then like I don't want to because everything I want to do is kind of like you know, real and raw and uncut. Right. So it's like, man, now it's like finding finding a different perspective and finding a different voice that's like more um more like with myself and i think a, a lot of people will find that later on this year you know what i mean to find kind of like to see who i am really but then like seeing you like grow within a year and a year and a half with your channel man like like i said like you're you're so entertaining and like you're so like you know like with your catchphrases and like <laughs> you know just being like being you in the in the camera like i think that's like for myself, it's inspiring and seeing the, like, damn, like, you know, like I could come from, you know, zero to six, six K, you know what I mean? Just like DC, you know what I mean? Bro, man. Um, appreciate all the kind words you've been saying there. Uh, any, anybody, uh, anybody, anybody could get six K, you know what I mean? Anybody gets it. six K, like I say, it's just a breaking the ice for me. You know, I'm right. I'm, thousands where i i want to feel like i just i started at i, I want to feel like i start when i hit ten thousand. but for you bro just like just just release what what you want to do you know release it like don't hold back and it's right. going to get you there faster you know i wish i would have thought of thought this way when i first started you know i was so mm -hmm. shy like every little thing i said i would be cautious about what i say i wasn't really i was like hesitant you know what i mean but now i just kind of like just like you said just go raw like boom, just say what you want to say and just put it out there. Like, fuck it. <laughs> you know? So yeah, that's how you got to think, man, to grow faster, bro. Cause people love it when they see you, you know, they, they mm -hmm. want to, they, they want, they want the real you. And that's what, that's what it is, man. For real. That's just my advice for you on your journey. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, I appreciate that. And for sure, dude, that's not going to be like, you know, the last time we're going to be seeing each other. You know what I mean? No doubt, man. <laughs> Anytime, bro. Yeah. But yeah, like, so like, man, I had a, I had something, I, I forgot. <laughs> but um, yeah. So you was doing shoes and stuff. Like, what's your? Do you have any other hobbies? Like uh, like I, I collect basketball cards. I collect football cards. 
I'm not really into Pokemon cards, but I do got some Charizards because my son. Was, <laughs> what, my son what, the was hype, what the hype is right now? <laughs> no, we actually was already like I was already I I've already been in cards before the hype even took off. Like I used to go to oh, Target. Yeah. I used to go to Target, literally sit there with my son. And we'll look at all the basketball cards and we'll buy like two boxes and come home. Now we can't even find anything because everybody. Oh yeah, man. Shit. No, yeah. like my uncle, he he does that right. He's been doing it since since I was a little kid, and now he's like. Um, he's almost 40, maybe. And he's been doing it since I was a kid. So I was like, yeah. I was like, these people, I mean, no knock on them, right? But I was like, these people think that they're like starting like something like, no, dude, this thing's been been around since a while. You know what I mean? Well, well it's all about, you know, a quick buck now. You know, I'm just being- Right now, yeah. <laughs> keeping it, it 100, keeping it 100. Everybody wants to flip and make money and they see the opportunity and they, they, they pounced on it. So, um for us, for us OGs, gener older generations that we've been collecting, it's hard for us just to collect now. So, like, uh, that's why I don't really buy anymore. I just kind of just look at my old shit. <laughs> uh, right. Hopefully, I come across some, but definitely it's different now. You know, it's all about making money now. It's all about doubling up now, and everybody's on it. So, it's hard for the hobby itself, man. I don't know where it's going to go from here. Right. And, like, talk about making, like, you know, money and stuff like that. Do you... What do you think about like OnlyFans and stuff like that? Oh, me, that was a random question going off of basketball me, cards. But... <laughs> hey, me and Rick kind of uh, talked about it on his podcast too, but it was a funny topic because we kind of talked about like you know the big names in the Hong community that has the OnlyFans, like mm -hmm. Yali and um, you know uh, Christina Zong. I don't is she big name? I don't know. She's I, don't, I, like, I think she's uh, she was big for one point. I think. She she has her thing going, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. She has her own following. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. It's a it, 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 it's a it's a hustle, you know. If people, some people, that's how I that's how I would see or think of it right away when someone says, "What do you think about uh, OnlyFans?" I'm gonna say, "Everybody trying to make an extra dollar," you know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to make a dollar. Right. Um, show a little bit of cleavage, whatever it is, requests, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've heard stories so. Uh, it just kind of proves what I'm trying to get at because it is about money. It's all that's the only reason why the, the, the platform up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People not subscribe to it. So um, it's all about that hustle, man. That's what I think. That's what, exactly what I think it is. Yeah. I mean, I respect it though, honestly. You know, yeah. you know, can't knock your money, hustle. Man. <laughs> yeah. Can't knock their hustle. They, they're yeah. doing it. You know what I'm saying? For so. Sure. You can't knock it. <laughs> just like basketball cards, you know, they're, they're flipping. You can't knock the hustle, but you just, it just takes away from us. Right. <laughs> right. The OGs. <laughs> the OGs of it. Yeah, man. Um, so yeah, you had you said you had a family, man. Um, how long were you married? Uh <clears throat> I asked me and my wife started dating when we was about I just turned 19. Yeah, I just turned 19. Um, we, we started dating and then um we got married when it was like 23, 23, about your age. Yeah, mm. about your age. So uh, we yeah we've been married since and you know every three years we had a new baby so four kids now oh damn did you guys plan those kids too um it's never planned <laughs> okay <laughs> they just come they just come when the right time you know what i'm saying when the right time it's the right time they'll come that's right how right yeah 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 i'll just, yeah. I'll just note that down for myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah these yeah, people man. plan it you know some people plan it but Kind of just let it just go with the flow. Were you ever pressured to marry a girl? Um, pressured. I, I would I would say we did kind of get married because my girl was pregnant. You know. For oh, okay. Child. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I need to take on responsibilities. I need to get rid of my WRX. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't right. mess around <laughs> no more. So I got rid of my WRX. Man, my baby car too, bro. Uh, but I, I, I you know. I, I let it go. I let it go, and I saved money, and then I pay for my own wedding. Me and my wife actually we saved our money together. My girl. Oh yeah. And we pay for our own wedding. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh it's like, wow. Yeah, we did all that because you know the Hmong tradition. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, my, my family never had that type of money. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it would have been like, well, we're gonna wait for a few years till we. But anyways, bro. Uh, just to answer your question, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I'm I'm going a little looser here, but go ahead. No, you good, man. I mean, like, that's what I want my uh, podcast to be about. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> just keep going, man. Just keep going. <laughs> just be, <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah, but yeah, man, I think it's crazy because right now it's like, I'll be real, like, I've been dating my, my girl for like five years now. And yeah, dude, like, 
dude, the pressure is like, yeah, thank you. But dude, the pressure is on. It's like, when are you Did guys get married? married? Yeah. Oh, when okay. are you guys getting married? When are you guys getting married? I was like, ah, oh, dude, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> hard, but of course, like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm thinking about this year, right? Mm-hmm. But then it's just like, man, is it, is it, is it because I want to, or is it because I I'm getting pressured to, you know what I mean? Right. right. And it's, it's just not, like, shoot, I don't know. It's doing you ready, man. Doing you ready. You know, don't, don't live your life based on other people. You feel me? Like that's what our whole freaking, almost a whole re- culture or whatever Community. you want to call, <laughs> call it. It was based off of, our elders time you know what i'm saying like they expected you to do this they expected you to do that and it kind of held the Hmong people back a little bit and that's just how i feel about it and uh and i think that moving forward man just do what you want to do is your life it's not nobody else's life man just do when you're ready man mm. yeah man for sure i'll be, be taking that into account you know but yeah talking about like you know Hmong culture and stuff like that and like like you said you feel like it, it it held us back a little, you know, I have a big opinion about the Hmong culture and like, I don't agree with a lot of things. Of course I respect it. Right. Definitely. You know, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pay my respects and, you know, about them paying their dues and, you know, them bringing us over here, of course, you know, but then like, like you said, like, Oh man, it's just. You mean the old, these, ways, the old ways, right? Yeah, like some of these things just over <laughs> here don't make sense. <laughs> have you ever felt like, or have you ever been not stopped, right? But then like felt like you had to stop what you wanted to do because of, you know, the OGs? Uh, yeah, all the time, bro, all the time. Um, Just to piggyback off what you're saying, man, it's just like, it's just like, you know, they – they talk about you if you can't make it to the, you know what I'm saying, occasion or the thing, but it's like, what if I got to work? You know what I'm saying? Or like, right. what if I can't take it off? Or what if something already happened? Or what if I'm already planning something I can't make it? Like, why do you need to talk be, talk about me to your people or to spread rumors or whatever? It's like that right there shouldn't even dictate, shouldn't even um, judge. So you can, someone should not even judge anybody because of something that little, you know what I'm saying? And right. That's something from like the old ways. Like, you know, you don't show up and then it's just like, oh, you, oh, you're not supportive. Like, it's not about that. You know, it's not about that. Just little things like that. And um, that's exactly, exactly what you're talking about. I do feel like that a lot, all the time. Yeah. The time. I mean, especially because you're married now, right? You, you take on a whole other responsibility that comes with within marriage like you know you have to show up for things or you have to be there for things i was like you know do you get a lot of shit for not showing up and all that stuff too yeah um we get that a lot but uh it's not like i don't show up all the time like you show up all the time for do you know to 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 be respectful you know i'm saying like like the people i respect i'm there boom i'm there boom like no hesitation like i do it i do it because i respect them you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i, I want to show them that i respect them and but at the same time it's like some of them is like you show up all the time but then like once you don't show up it's like that's when they realize that shit you know what i'm saying and it's like bro <laughs> come on now like don't judge me for one time that right. i couldn't satisfy you you know what i'm saying it's like what about all the other time i was there for you so um yeah definitely yeah it's man great. i think i think uh, the Hmong culture really not culture but then like just just Hmong people in general I think a lot of them just kind of focus on the negative or just focus on the bad times more than the good times because you know you you not even mess up you like you said like you don't show up one time and then like all of a sudden it's a big thing all of a sudden like all of a sudden you don't love them it's like what yeah yeah <laughs> that doesn't yeah. make any sense <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You guys are, especially you guys are the new generation. You guys are gonna take a lot of heat, but <clears throat> no, my generation took more heat. My oh, bad. My bad. <laughs> you guys did. <laughs> <laughs> my generation took more heat because we were still new into the country. Right. Our, our, we were the kids that was, we were the kids that were they expected more from. Now your generation, it's more lenient now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, <clears throat> imagine <with> us. <laughs> imagine. Uh, yeah, I mean, you- like, you know, I see my older cousins and what they're going through, uh, what they're still going through, you know what I mean? Like, right. I was like, damn, like, you know, I get it sometimes, 
right? But right. then, like, at the same time, it's like, I don't get it as hard. You know what I mean? It's all politics, bro. Politics. Yeah, man. It's hard, <laughs> man. It's like, shoot. I don't know. I don't know if I could have survived if I was born, like, a few years earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we made it through. You know, we made it through. Um, I think, honestly, I think my opinion is, uh, like, your kids, your kids' generation, mm-hmm. definitely going to lose the home tradition. Um, it's already it's already slipping now you know what i'm saying uh yeah it's always good to maintain some of it but not all of it i guess because you know we do have to evolve just like music here just like just like music earlier we have to evolve as well so um not all of it has to come not all of it has to stay but some 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 will be good you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah. no i know what you mean because yeah like a quote i you know i hold to my heart I don't know who said it and I don't know when I heard it. It was a long time ago when I was like in elementary or middle school around there. And the quote was like, um, to be able to succeed, you must learn how to adapt. And I was like, damn, dude, like that's so true. Like just to yep. adapt around your, uh, yeah. your environment, you know, the people around you just to be successful is like, that's so true. You know, like, of course, you're going to be losing a lot of things, right? Mm-hmm. But then think about the things that you're going to be gaining, you know? And I think that, man. Yeah, I think that's what most people don't really want is, like, losing things. But Exactly, man. If the, world flooded, to, man. if the world flooded today, what will everybody be, be building and riding right now? Boats, right? Right. Adapting to, you know what I'm saying, changes and shit. And that's what we have to do in general. Um, another quote that I'm going to leave with you today, that's something that I, I go by, man, this is, this helped me out through so much just in life in general. Um, the quote is to be successful, you have to be able to let go to, you have to be able to let go of who you are for who you will become. And, um, that shit right there, it's just so powerful to me, you know, it's personal to me because that shit helped me out through a lot of things. Like when I went back to school, I kept thinking about that. Like I have to sacrifice who you are for who you will become, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I want to leave that with you. <laughs> yeah, dude, that means a lot, man. Dude, thinking about it, I was like, dude, that right there would have just helped me through a lot. You know what I mean? Like, like, I'm not saying like I went through like, you know horrible horrible stuff but like of course i went through some hardships too but i was like damn just thinking about that right there i was like man yeah dude you have to sacrifice who you are for who you will become man and i think that helped me out a lot along my way and i think it can help you out too just remember that (laughs) yeah man i mean you know as old as i think i i am already i'm still pretty young to you guys (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah yeah yeah, man, you're young. You're way still young, bro. Like when I was 23, I barely got married. You know what I'm saying? So right, right. Um, you're you're very young still, man. You got a long way to go. Live your life. Fuck anybody else. Fuck what anybody think. Fuck what anybody think about you. Just live with your life. If they try and pressure you to get married, you don't want to get married. Yet, don't get married. Yet. Fuck it. <laughs> it's for yeah, real. Man. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. Think about or talk about like haters. Like, have you ever gotten haters like to your channel and stuff like that? Um, they come around here and there, but I think uh, I think that the uh, positivity. Dr- drowns out the the hate you know the negativity you know what mm. i'm saying so on my channel that's what i really go by you know it, it's always been good vibes there i don't never like hate on anybody too so um this is very little it's very little now when i first started of course this is always it's always gonna be there you know it's always gonna be there i used to take it so hard too like fuck man they man they're talking hella shit you know but it's just like the more i let it get to me the more i was worried about them you know what i'm saying like right. why am i worried about somebody that i don't even know so I kind of just let go of that. And then sooner or later, like now I I get a little bit of hate, but it's not even like enough to tickle me. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's funny to me anyway, because it's, more, <laughs> it's yeah. positive. Positivity is what it's, I thrive with. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I roll with. Man, that's good, dude. Like, I mean, right now, of course, I'm still a small channel, but man, I'm just I'm just waiting for that one day, you know, that one hate comment. <laughs> Don't even wait, bro. I'm telling you, don't even worry about it, man. Because if someone has the time to take out of their own day to come and hate on somebody trying to do something for themselves, that person obviously ain't got nothing going on for them. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's that's why like you can't even waste your energy to focus on that person 
You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. just focus on people that matters. Fo- when people show you love and comment, you answer back. Like answer back, bro, and like I appreciate you, bro. Like what I, I always tell everybody like that comments or talks to me or messages me like, hey, after our conversation, I always say I really appreciate your support. Like, cause I really mean it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So always just focus your energy to the positivity and. And I think that's what's going to help you along your journey as well, too. Don't worry about the negativity shit. Don't worry yeah, about man. it. And yeah, like another quote. I don't know where we just spin out quotes today. But <laughs> <laughs> another quote is um, like, you're not doing anything right if you don't have haters. Right, right, right. right. And I was like, damn, that man, dude, these quotes, man. <laughs> <laughs> these quotes yeah, will get true, you. Man. That's true, man. <laughs> That's true, bro. It's like it's balance in life. Like I talk about this all the time too with my kids. You know, it's balance in life. It's not ever. It's not always gonna be good. It's always gonna be the bad side of things and the right. negative negative side of things. And it's just a balance of life. You know, it's never green. You know, there's always patches of yellow here and there. So um, just don't expect it. You know, don't focus on that. You know, just keep watering. Right. <laughs> just keep watering yourself. Right, and just keep right. going, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> don't For sure, man. But yeah, man. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, what's your favorite? What's your What's your favorite uh, shoes right now? Because you know that that I, I love shoes too, man. I, I got to know. Oh, really? Right yeah. Like I said, I just had to end my hobby early on because oh, I, yeah. I couldn't afford it no more because I all my money I had to spend on my kids. You know, so. for sure. I mean, you know, right now it's I've been out of the shoe game for a while, for a minute. But I think you know, like I don't know. I always go back to the. Obviously, you know, the regulars, like the ones, the Jordans, the threes. Yeah, all, always the Jordans. One so you were Jordan guys then. Yeah, I, I was always a Jordan guy. I think yeah. Jordans were the first ones that got me into the shoe game. And even with like fashion in general, like really taking it serious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I was like, the first pair I bought was actually like with my own money and stuff like that. So like it meant a lot, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Love them, huh? Yeah, Kept I did. In the, box the whole time, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. It was like, I mean, I, of course, it wasn't like the most hyped one, you know what I mean? But it was, yeah. it meant a lot because it's your first pair, you know, yeah. with your own money that you worked for, you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, yeah. you know, it meant a lot and I kept it. But then, of course, I had to sell it too. But yeah, man, it was just good times. <laughs> Bro, I can relate, man. My, I, I've never had nice shoes growing up. You know, we didn't have that type of money. Um, but you know, I understood what was going on with life in general. So I wasn't tripping, you know, I, I was just, right. I was, I'm just fortunate to have what I have. So when I first started working, man, boy, did I spaz out and I started buying shoes <laughs> like crazy. Like, man, I always wanted one of these, man. I always wanted one of those, man. It was crazy for like a few years, few, man, my wife used to say, how many shoes do you need? Right. And, uh, yeah. Eventually I fucked them all up. <laughs> yeah, man, dude, I used to be the ones like wait for the drop and stuff like that online and stuff but now mm-hmm. it's just like man can't do it no more yeah for sure man i still uh i still man i, I was more of a lebron guy too like i like lebron shoes his early oh shoes. yeah when he first came out man when he first came out i was hyped for lebron shit like i like jordan shit but then i was more about lebron shit i was more about like old school shit like uh penny hardaways uh scotty pippins like i love all that shit uh, air maxes oh yeah Man, I have a, I have a few pairs of Air Maxes, man. Fucking uh, but uh, yeah, man. I like I like old school shit. I like old school shit. For sure. All this new colorful shit, I don't really buy. Oh yeah. <laughs> but when I see some shit that's on the shelf, like old school shit, like Air Max ninety sevens, ninety fives, scoop. <laughs> if I have, if I'm right there, I got the money. I'm scooping some. For sure, bro. All right, man. Um, we're hitting the time over here. It's one o'clock already. So yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Had yeah, man. Do you got anything else to plug? Um, man, you guys, I'm going to be sharing this on my channel, man. Show the young bro, Austin Solo, subscribe to what, you know, what's your, what's your plugins at? I'm oh, just my DC, plugin? Uh, I'm just the podcast. Reacts. I'm just DC Reacts, everything. So, um, if you guys want to go over there and, you know, support me, it's just DC Reacts, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is. And, but then Austin, I, I'm going to be sharing this as well on my channel. So, um, you know. Plugging all yours too as well, bro. Yeah, man. Just follow me on uh, Platinum Podcast, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Um, yeah, man. Everything's everything's chill, you know. 
I appreciate you doing this with me. All love, all love. Shout out to your audience. Shout out to you for having me on. Uh, we're going to do this again. Thanks for having me on again, Austin. For sure, bro. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, and make sure you guys go follow DC and make sure he <laughs> reaches his uh, goal this year, right? Love, love. Peace, right. guys. Gang. Let's go. Peace. <laughs>